Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Monjezi from Pretoria. Mr. and Mrs. Monjezi, Odra Pretoria. Uh, we are here to give the testimony of what the Lord has done in our lives. God has blessed us with a baby boy. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's by the grace of God, see myself standing here again. Uh, the testimony started, uh, we were that side, that side of the pledge. Testimony to pledge. That was when the, the end prophet Andres were at US. prophet And it was prophet, prophetess Tendo who was ministering to us that side. While she was busy ministering to us, she came to me and she asked me, how old is my second child? That is my daughter. By then, I'm three years. Now she's four. February. I said she's turning four in February. Then after that, she, she spoke as if what and she said to me, buy a blue pampas. And the minute I buy a blue pampas, I started crying. Tears, and I was like, oh, pampas again. The tears came into my eyes, and I was saying, oh, not, not a dipe again. To tell the truth, pampas, like, in, in my life, the pampas was finished. There was no child coming ever again. So the reason why I was crying, I think many people didn't understand why am I crying, whereas God is giving me a gift, a child, where, whereas other people are searching for children. The reason I cried was not because, like, it was because of I viewed my life, got the situation in Zekele Moto, and I was like, no, there's no way a baby can fit now. Mombo Pilombaga. I live a lot in Nikela, it's because Nikelebel last year Mosaka Gama Toka Lamor, Aona Mong, Wanaka Honangot, and Awana Karabo Pilobo Pila. Kilevala Horo, Hobelela Mujim, is not prophetess Tendo who's saying this. She was only passing what she hears from God. Niki, I had forgotten it's God who was speaking in a sea prophetess Tendo Volela, Nabola Simudumba, Asequambas Volel. It was really hard for me to digest the blue pampas to tell the truth. Ibeulu would we mamonor camo heleta vaja pampas blue. And there was a time I was speaking with my husband. I know Mohatagam, the Lord has. Bless us with a boy and a girl. There's no way we can have another baby. More than it was like There was a time Nike Bolela le Papa Bara wa Mudumba Rushwa Chika Mwanya na le Mushiman. More than a basic fiti lo wa So, kila ba Mudimo for Mudimo a review the way we run a review on ourselves. That's why Ari, the plans that I have for you are to prosper you. He knows for you are going through problems now, but you don't know what tomorrow holds for you. Gele wa mudi muda da hara wone kama kwar na reari ponanga matata kaure ore ketseba di plani cheke na link chona magole na chako le chole icha lo ufabu kama sobebe bozi. And the other reason for me to cry about the the, the blue pampas is that. With all my children, I've always been regarded as a high risk person. Um, I've been giving my my giving birth to my kids with through C section, all of them. Another thing it lengorikela is because high kill meling bar monavare kimuko tsingyo holo ene kebele abana baka kasika operation. So I knew for it, even the one that is coming, the doctors will say yes, C section again. That will be the third C section. And last time I came out of the theater room, I told myself, well, I'm not coming back to this cold room again. And section So I just want to thank God for what he has done. 
Uh, what I would like to tell you is that the pregnancy was not easy. Pregnancy was so painful. I was having pains throughout the whole nine months. Daddy was praying for me that side of the pledge. I'm bothered, this baby will not die, but I couldn't understand what it, this baby will not die. Everything is okay. When I go to antenatal, I was okay. The scan shows everything is fine with me and with the baby, but I was in pain. I I was in pain. 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 I and then there was a time we saw Prophet Andres can pledge again. Prophet Andres can pledge. And then he said to me, "Do you know why you are having this pain?" And I said, "No, I don't know." I said, they say everything is fine. Bambo, he asked me, what does the doctor say when you go for checkup? Because of what you are carrying, that's why you are having this pain. There's a fight. That's why forgive these people. I cannot say it here. And it was like, most these people, I'm not that close. Forgive them. And then I said, I'm not really close with the people you are mentioning. And then Barmona Barakeba Tsarel. Gatalohanya Hori is a fight in the spirit. We don't fight flesh and blood. That's why, that's why I don't want to mention their names because sometimes when people, when you give testimony and you mention people's name, they take offense because they don't understand that. The fight is not a physical one. That's why Xanya Kubrela Mavicho Corona Congo Bulechi Mavicho Batoba Hubisha Basa Kushori came to Asamoya. Amen. Amen. So, Kaipoza Hori, because Nagua Eranga Guadi Plesh is so little, we have to come again for one on one, earlier three days. So, when we went there, we realized that the time for pledge is little, so we came again to be a visitors for one on one. Yes, we came at the 18th is in May, and then I was given the aid for C section on the 23rd of May. Okay, and then I was like at the 18th of May, but the date of operation at the 23rd of May. We came and we saw Prophet Andres and Daddy also. Ramona Prophet Andres and Daddy Rape. They, uh, Prophet Andres prayed for me. Prophet Andres went to Pelela. And he spoke again. Are those that are fighting you? They are no longer fighting you. Now they are fighting God. And as long as God is involved, all is well. I'll yeah. go to the theater room and I'm going to come out alive and the baby will be alive. And Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So... Katatila Theatre on the 24th. Oh, Katatila Theatre, Kati 24. This is what happened. I carry all this time, the whole nine months, I was going to check up for antenatal. For Hodije Nani Benjikia Skalo. And everything was okay. Even on the sauna, they, they showed me where everything is okay. Diluka Mgabe Dilukile, Luko Sona Bampoch, or Dilu Dilukile. Here, Luko Oko Theatre, then uh, one of the doctors asked me, what's the reason why? I told him, no, it's because of high risk. I, then the doctor asked me, why did they bring it to the theater? I said, because they say I'm a high risk patient and other reasons as well that they give to me. Okay, they take out the baby safely and they show me the baby. Then, to the, to the, to the room. room. So, another sister came. When I was there in the room, a, a nurse came and said, You almost made my heart to stop. And I asked why. What they found inside of you the time they operating, 
is the grace of God that you are here and the baby. So he showed, he, the, the nurse showed me the picture. It was a picture of an umbilical cord which is tied. It was like a foot. It was a umbilical cord in which was tied into a knot. And then again, your baby was also breached. And again, how come the baby have a bridge until like all this months? When did the baby turn and take a different position? I started asking how come I was pregnant all this time and the baby was breached and I didn't know. And I asked when did the baby turn and become breached? So this thing, yeah, yeah, the tying of the umbilical uh, something says to Alekhi Sometimes when they deliver the baby, they find what the baby's cord is wrapped around the neck. That one is the common one. But this one of the tr is called a true knot or the, the U knot. They say when the baby is, the, the cord is a U knot, there's no oxygen, there's no blood that is passing to the baby. <laughs> So, they helped me a lot. God of Charis fought for me. So, I would like to thank God for what he has done. All the prayers that I was prayed for. That is why every time I tell my husband, every time I go Charis, let cherries be new to me every day. What is happening more? The anointing that is happening more because God is doing something new every day. If I get used to it, I will miss the mark. I get used to the anointing of this place because God is always doing something new. And my fear is if I get used to the anointing, I will miss the mark of what God wants to do for me. So I like to encourage you, you uh, children of God, Hori, God is here. Let us not take this for, for granted. Even the, the man of God, the prophet of God, they're here for us. If you feel Hori, hey, more, I don't see things be like the way... I, I told my husband who we need to go to one on one before God deliver. Please take the opportunity they are here for us. May God richly bless you in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Greetings in the name of Jesus. I would like to greet uh, Papa and Mami. Prophet Andrews and Prophetess. Yes. Uh, what is happening here? I can't explain it. I came here with nothing. Only with my wife. And yes, uh, men of God located me and told me that I will have children. And right then, we were looking for the uh, food of the womb. And and it took uh, two years for us, uh, to have a baby. And then if I remember very well, it was on the 7th of August, 2016. And we came one-on-one. Uh, one. On one. And then the uh, apostle told us that, no, we are going to have a baby boy. And the baby boy is this one. Amen. The name of the boy is Onangua Honga Yehova Uburadzinalawe. His name is who, who has been chosen by God remembers his name. And then the second child is Morangi Namuvuri Zindi Yehova. And the second child is the beginning and the end is the Lord. Ononi Wabararu Ufi Bugara Hayehova Unarine. The third one is, the name is the glory of the Lord is with us. I thank you. Amen.